Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to try this my third attempt, actually, because this is very difficult for me to, um, to try to express um, just how hard it is to minister the gospel when you have the establishment um, coming up against you. And it's amazing that uh, when I used to work down the waterfront, or I was in the army, I could tell soldiers about Christ and they would receive it with great joy. They would receive the things uh, in me expressing Christ in my life. And um, he's given me this gift as an evangelist since I was a young, a young, uh, since I was first born again as a, as a child really as a uh, as a teenager and one of the reasons I believe that uh, I'm able to be such an evangelist is because of all the hardships that I have within my life and how the Lord met all my needs an example of that is like in boot camp where a couple guys came to the Lord uh, because I was just instrumental in sharing Christ with them um, now, I came from a prominent religious family. Uh, I've had a lot of doctrines taught to me over the years. I'm, I'm over 50 years old. And you can imagine uh, when you start off as a teen and you go to all the different teen type Christian challenges and you do the Bible studies and you attend church, you can just imagine all the theology and all the doctrines that you pick up uh, and the, the basic tenets for sharing Christ with others. That's why I'm amazed, I'm simply amazed and hurt, quite frankly, that um, my family uh, has such great trouble with uh, me professing the Gospels to others. And I think it's because of the power of the Lord within me. You know, as you know, the Scripture says, uh, a prophet's not welcomed in his own home. A man of God is not welcomed in their own house. Why is that? It's because they think they know who you are, but there's a foreign power. And when I say a foreign power, an alien power, I guess you could even call it, uh, something from outside this world, known as the Holy Spirit, that quickens you and changes you who, who you are into the likeness of of Christ okay and this is what has been happening to me and it's taken the Lord years to do this and one of the major the last major hurdle that I had to overcome was the Lord shattering my concept of what I was taught in the church and replacing it with himself okay and now I feel as if for the most part that's exactly who I'm attacked by. And Jesus said this would happen because no student is better than his master. Uh, if Christ was persecuted, then you'll be persecuted. So the closer I move into a personal relationship with Christ and the more that he shows me, the more that I receive a persecution specifically or especially from the established church system, systematic theologies. And, um, you know, I had, I've had this, this hat on before. This is my Maryland Defense Force hat. Um, and that's a uh, Sergeant First Class. When I got out of the Army, I still thought that, um, that I had to, you know, become accredited. It was, I thought it was, I still had this concept that it was all about learning the scripture, learning proper doctrines, learning proper theology, learning how to do religious services, which I've shown you in the other videos I had. But as the world moves forward and as I grow in the Lord, um, and I was chief of chaplain's assistants, for instance, I was a I surpassed deacon and elder in my uh, in my church, by the grace of God, I'm not trying to brag, 
which uh, I, I guess they were amazed. Nobody could, thought I'd, uh, I could do, because not only did I have learning disabilities as a child, but uh, I have a uh, brain damage now after being dead. So um, I can't move back into the mind and tell other people about Christ. I, I can't move back into the filing system of theology, verse and chapter, and apply it uh, like most of your ministers do. They get up there and give a sermon every Sunday so other people can understand. But you know what's funny about that? Is the dead, the dead, the people who don't know Christ, are usually pretty good at understanding the theology. They can understand these different ideas and these different theological uh, perceptions of things. Uh, so I disagree. I mean, I think you should know your Bible inside and out. The better you know your Bible, the better off you are, uh, especially when it comes to leadership and um, you know helping other people know the Lord. But it is not a requirement for deeper spiritual growth. The deeper spiritual growth, the deeper oneness required with Christ is in Christ Himself. Um, so I just I just want to express to people uh, just how really persecuted and really downtrodden and. Uh, how Satan comes against me as I move into the Lord. And you would think, you would think that um, that wouldn't be happening. Because if you were really being ineffective for the world, people would just hide you. They wouldn't draw attention to it. They, would, they wouldn't worry about it. It would be irrelevant. So why then? Does a guy like myself become such of a, a, a point of discussion, such a sore point for those within the um, systematic theological system? And I submit to you, it is because of the Spirit of Christ in me that causes that effect to the ones who don't know him. I'm very sad to say, and it's taken me over 30 years in the church system to realize the majority of people there, and I would even I would even argue maybe even the leadership are dead. They don't hear him because if they heard him, they could not come against uh, their brothers. And their sisters in Christ. Or rather it's because they don't hear him. God bless you all. Good night.